All right, hey there, guys. Adrian Dacosti here, Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. So today, guys, we got the Seahawks theme team once again. Um, still needing our quarterback, you know, wish it was a quarterback gameplay, but, you know, EA is just refusing to give us a quarterback, but and we should be getting our quarterback soon, right? Right, EA Sports? Right? You didn't forget about us, did you? Anyways, moving on. So today, guys, we got two defensive players for you guys. We did get the combine to Reek Wollen, as you can see right over here on my side of my head here. Uh, he's a free card, but we've, we've done a combine because we're a Reek Wollen player already. So first off, Roman Reigns. I know he's not a Seahawk by any means, but we're going to be using him today because I'm going to be acknowledging my tribal chief by using him in Mutt. And if you got a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways. Um, I was going to do him for the Pats video, but he really didn't, uh, the intro was a little bit long, but 93 speed, 92 finesse move, 98 power move, really, really solid. We did actually get his unstoppable for Showtime level two now. Uh, he actually does get some pretty good abilities, so he does get interior threat, edge threat elite, and El Toro for zero and one AP respectively in these two buckets. And then in his final bucket, it's no outsiders or double or nothing for zero and one AP. We're going to be rocking all of this for the grand total of one AP. Yes, really. That is kind of insane. And speaking of guys who only have one AP for all of their abilities. Let's look at Brian Bosworth, the boss guy that I was I'm very happy to see back in the game. We did get his avalanche elevated level two. So these ones will not be turned off uh, once they activate. I think they only take three plays to activate today uh, for the game. Oh, no, it's six. It's six plays to activate for uh, avalanche. What about for Roman's um, for his Rome, for his uh, unstoppable force? It is also six. So it takes six plays for them to activate and then they will be unstoppable once they're activated. Now, Bayern Bosworth is really nice. 99 acceleration, 97 speed, uh, 91 agility. He's not the most agile players on the field with only 88 change of direction as well. Uh, so that could be a bit of a buzzkill, but he has actually been playing solid for me so far. I've used them a few, a few here and there when I'm not make, making videos. Now for his special buckets, guys, he gets Lurk Artist for free, thank God, as well as Tackle Supreme and Mid Zone KO for 1 AP, so we're going to be rocking those two. Uh, and then in the final bucket, we got Enforcer for free and Mid Route KO for 1 AP, so we're going to be rocking all of these, uh, Tackle Supreme, Enforcer, and Lurk Artist for 1 AP, as well as the Double, uh, as well as the Avalanche Showtime X Factor. So with that being said, though, guys, let's hop into the game. Hopefully, actually, we'll showcase Leonard Williams here real quick, because I actually never did a gameplay on him. Uh, Leonard Williams, he's, he's good, 93 speed, 95 acceleration. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, one of my rush DTs. Uh, really nothing else to say other than that because there's really nothing else to talk about. All right, now let's get into the game. I still can't believe the Blue Jays shut out the Yankees today. How is that possible? Like, like I said, the, the, like I've said the, I said, I think I said this on Twitter. The, Yan the Jays are either the best hitting team in baseball or the worst hitting team in baseball with no in-between. And today there was an in-between. And somehow they shut out the Yankees. Some people already know this, but I got token, both tokens for playing solo battle. Yeah, I did see that. We actually booted into a solo battle game before we actually got into this one to get the out to make sure we got the Showtime two um, X factors and the extra ability buckets. But yes, thank you for the reminder. For those that do not know, you actually can get uh, get them in solo battles now. I hope they keep it that way because it's it, it kind of stinks that they had it set up that way. You know what I mean? Like, it, it sucks that they have it set that way. I hope they keep it... Um, okay, I do have option conservative. I hope they keep it the that that way. So we got two more plays, and then Bosworth is active, and he's unstoppable. Yeah, because... Yeah, I don't understand what the three interception one. Like, that one to me should be... Um, that one to, be sh to me should be two. Two interceptions in a game, and you get that activated. But what I think, what I also think they should do, I talked about this yesterday. I don't know if you were, I don't know if you were here or not, but I think they should have offline and then online missions for the, for like player objectives, right? For like pro, specifically for like program objectives. I feel like they should have an offline and an online aspect to them. They should have both off and online. Kind of like what MLB The Show does. They have an offline aspect and they also have an online aspect. All right, so Bosworth is and Roman are both activated, which means they are now unstoppable. I said unstoppable. I mean, whatever. It's 
Oh, come on. I lined that up. I was active. I activated and everything, too. Come on, boss. You gotta, you gotta fucking lay him out, dude. Like, just, just fucking, like, hit him. Like, just, just get angry and just nail his ass. Wait, hang on a second. Let me think what I'm saying. Okay, good. Break up, I guess, Quandry? Man ran eight times in that in that first. And he missed the fucking few. Wow, okay, dude. Okay, so he, he user rushed me. Tyler Bass. Tyler Bassett. Um Oh, yeah, like the missed field goal. Yeah. Time to make a Packers theme team video. Maybe this weekend, actually. Um, make it do a lineup update for the Packers theme team. Cause tomorrow I have uh Steelers plan. I have Steelers plan to, for tomorrow. Um, especially with me and Joe uh Green. James what I hope I pronounced this right. Oh, it's a YouTube subscription, but hey, got a subscriber on YouTube, guys. Woot woot. If your method works, we'll get up uh upgrade soon. I just hope to God that we get um, a quarterback soon. That's all we really ever need. Like, that's all this team needs right now is a quarterback. Use Manning when you get him. The problem is, like, the, the fundamental reason why I don't want to use Peyton or, and Eli is because um, both, both Peyton and you need to have, well, one, you need to have both Peyton and Eli like not only do you need to have them in your lineup but you need to have them upgraded right so that's a problem in and of itself um to have both because that costs like so much add song to playlist okay um put it in the chat song to the play to the queue and uh all that shit all right well i'll just take my field goal then like God. Oh shit. Got him. Who is that? Is that Clowny? Yeah, it is. Let's go, Jadavion. Like, I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm just curious. Oh, FF7. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was just more confused than anything because it's like, how does that change anything? I mean, that's not open at all. I kind of actually it did kind of get open. I'll say this Witherspoon plays like fucking ass at times. It's either he's really solid or he's bad. Empty quads, you say? I was gonna say that's a knockout. That's lighted up dual threat right there on cam. There's no way that actually perfectly landed and un ended up on the one. That's actually crazy. All right. Really, Metcalf? That's not first day. Good catch there, uh, Gerald. To be completely honest, I don't know. Like, at this point, I don't know. This guy is actually user rushing me, like, uh, with, uh, his, his, uh, Colossus dude, like, a piece of shit. There we go. Good shit, Jerry. Or, Sydney. Good stuff. They do, but they are, but they are such simps. They'll never say anything bad. That's true. Like people, I, I don't think I've seen a company get defended more than SDS for the shit that, for the bad shit that they do. Like SDS is, is somebody I don't, I think I've seen get defended more than any company in the history of existence. He probably would have completed that if he got the pass off, because, yeah. Uh, that terms of service. Terms of service, yeah, the terms of service on 2K is horrendous. 
She didn't get any good eggs. Yeah, I got the uh, LT. That should have been a fucking pick six. Holy shit. That's a fucking pick six and a half. What the hell? No, what you just said is terms of service. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, that's right. I forgot. Somebody just, okay. Okay, so Dalton Schultz just, okay, cool. Cool. That should not have been a, a fucking completion anyways. Thank you, Kyle Fuller. Or Kendall Fuller. Oh, we're gonna take this back for six? Yeah, we are. Let's go. So I'm just learning that vert hooks match, um, match the inside receivers on trip sets if you take away the mid read. Like, I actually just learned that recently. All right, I think we're going to hop into another game because that might be too short. All right, again, once again, guys, a bit of a shorter video. Sadly, um, queuing up into head-to-head -head games right now is just impossible to find consistent games. Uh, you're either playing nerds or you're playing people who quit after the first like, couple of drives. Uh, it's very hard, especially right now, to find consistency for games. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I like this Brian Bosworth a lot. Um... You know, this card is really, really nice overall. Uh, Roman, I mean, there was some games that they, I didn't unfortunately get on the camera, on the video, but you know, him getting, he's good, but it's just the, the problem is the fact that if someone has a secure protector on their own line, everything about Roman Reigns just gets completely destroyed because of that secure protector. I think it's a little unfair, but I mean, secure protectors are really good. So it is what it is with that. But if you guys do like this type of content and want to see more, subscribe below and also hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm actually gonna change Clowney's ability from double or nothing to edge threat elite because I'm actually want the under pressure on uh, Clowney at the bare minimum. So I have two edge threat elites with Roman and Clowney to even at the bare minimum, if it's an under pressure, uh, I'm completely fine with that because it can force some inaccurate throws, which can force some turnovers. And ultimately, I want to cause some chaos and force some turnovers. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.